Hi, my name is Eric Chapdelaine, and today we're going to solve the following problem. Prove using induction that 9 to the power of n minus 1 is divisible by 8 for all n greater than 0. There are two parts of this problem, the method that we're going to use, which is induction, and the problem itself. So we first have to ask ourselves, what is induction? Well, consider the number line. If we know that something is true for some low value, called the base case, and we know that p of k implies p of k plus 1 for some arbitrary k, we can take a step from the base case to the next value. Using the same logic, because we now know that 1 above the base case is true, we can infer that the next is also true, and so on and so forth. We can continue these steps forever to any arbitrary point after the base case. This method is called mathematical induction where the specific case is called weak induction because it only relies on one previous case. Now, let's enter the belief stage of this proof and visualize what's going on. Let's consider a line of length 9. If we cut off 1 from it, we are left with a line of length 8. Now, let's increase the dimension so our line now turns into a square. We can also consider increasing the dimension of 1 because 1 to the power of anything stays 1. So now we subtract the square on the bottom right. Notice how the side length of this square is 9. If we divide the shape into two parts, we can consider the side length of the top rectangle to now be 8. Notice that this bottom rectangle's area is what we were working with in the previous dimension, which we know was divisible by 8. We also know that the top rectangle's area is divisible by 8 because one of the sides is 8. We also know that the addition of two numbers that are divisible by 8 results in a number that is also divisible by 8. So by this, we can see how our statement is true for any dimension. Now, let's turn this into a formal proof. As we mentioned before, an inductive proof involves two things, the base case and the inductive step. For the base case, let's first define our predicate, or the statement that asks if the problem is true. In order for a specific equation to be divisible by 8, there must be an integer value that multiplies by 8 to result in that number. For this, I, re I represent that integer as b. The base case is the first number in which it, this returns true and then continuously returns true, so on and so forth. Recall from the problem that it's stated that we are only looking for numbers greater than 0, so our starting value should just be 1. Solving for b now results in the integer 1. And because this is an integer, this statement is true for p of 1. The next part of our inductive proof is the inductive step. The inductive step states that if a statement is true for an arbitrary k, does that also imply that it's true for k plus 1? So recall that p of k is the following, where b is some integer. p of k is going to be our inductive hypothesis. If this is true, does that also imply that p of k plus 1 is also divisible by 8? denoting the integer as b prime. So we need to turn 9 to the power of k plus 1 into 8b prime. We can take out a 9. Now recall our inductive hypothesis. If we solve for 9 to the power of k, we get 8b plus 1, which we can plug into this equation. We then can further simplify this by distributing the 9 and taking out an 8. Notice that we are left with 8 times an integer, we can rewrite it as 8 times b prime, thus proving our inductive step. Because we proved the base case and the inductive step, we proved by induction that 9 to the power of n minus 1 is divisible by 8 for all n greater than 0. Thank you.